Pay attention to what is going on around you. Because as I have said for a very long time, you haven't seen anything yet. Despite the fact that we have an economy in free fall, as a percentage of GDP, the U.S. economy is shrinking at its fastest pace ever in history. Big secret. You're not supposed to know that. Um, we have inflation today surging at its highest pace ever. Real wages based against inflation are also cratering at their fastest pace on record. Now, you would never know that if you would have listened to our illustrious retard president, Bidenstein. Okay. The market doesn't really give a damn about you, me, or anyone else. Uh, it rewards those who understand what's going on, and it punishes those who have no idea of what is going on and what is coming down the pike here. So, the promise here of easy money, again, by the same guy who's been pumping the world, flooding the world with dollars on, on a historic scale. I mean, you know... Uh, f f f all through this president, the one before him, since he was put in that place, just like the freak before him, you know, Janet Yellenstein, okay, um, it's just not going to stop. And this is making the market giddy, and the market is ignoring risk. Nothing makes sense anymore, people. Again, don't believe Greg Manorino. Go to the Federal Reserve's semi-annual financial stability report. You can look at it for yourself. Just Google it. The Federal Reserve laid out several points, which I covered right here in this video blog, explaining how valuations in this market don't make sense anymore. Margin debt is out of control, uh, among many other things. And again, it's a hyper bubble. But again, the market don't care. Because you have to understand, it's the investment banks, it's the large hedge funds, it's in investors and traders who know how the market works, you, my lions, among these, are going to rip the face off of this no matter what happens. No matter what happens, and let me explain this to you in case you didn't notice, a big opportunity presented itself today, and we're going to talk more about that too. In fact, you know, let me cover that real quick. Gold, silver, and pretty much the spectrum of crypto cryptocurrencies got hit today. Let me ask you, in this environment, really, you tell me, in this environment of ever-expanding debt, okay, uh, and, and a U.S. dollar that is under attack, and it will continue to be attacked as it loses purchasing power at, at an astonishing pace, as inflation continues to surge, do you think that maybe you should be looking at buying into weakness here, like I've been telling you since yesterday? Uh, you know, look, I've been telling you to buy the dip since time immemorial. Um, or do you think, you know, you should just stay in the dollar here? Do you think maybe you should take advantage of anti-debt units? And cryptocurrencies are anti-debt units because you own them. They're not own, owned by an issuing central bank and owed back to an issuing central bank plus interest that they create out of thin air. Whoever came up with that, okay? This is a slave system. You want to get out of the slave system? You want to get out of it? Well, you hold gold, you hold silver, platinum, palladium, silver, my all-time favorite. And yes, cryptocurrencies, if you're still too blind to see it, well, you know what? I feel sorry for you. All right? If you were to listen to this guy and bought at 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, and 41,000, you'd be pretty freaking happy today, wouldn't you? Okay. Uh, but no, a lot of you are still stuck in some kind of denial phase. What, do you want to stay in the dollar? Are you retarded? Really? Do I have to put it that way to you? Anyway, did you see crude oil today, people? Did you see what happened? I told you to keep your eyes open for some kind of a missile strike or a terrorist attack on oil facilities. I just said this recently. I said if crude oil falls, watch for this to happen. Well, it just happened. Uh, Saudi Arabia uh, oil facilities were hit. Uh, crude oil did catch a bid, and this is probably going to put a temporary floor, it could be a permanent floor, under crude. And if crude falls again, expect it to happen again, but bigger. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. 
sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Bigger. This was just like a pinprick today. I think it was uh, 14 drones, drones armed with missiles. Um, oh, well, you can expect that to uh, expand if crude oil takes another hit, people. There's just no doubt about it. And like I said, and I know, I mean, I got my email box lit up like a Christmas tree. Greg, you were right. You called it. Yeah, I called it. But you knew it was going to happen anyway. I'm not, I'm no one special here. Okay, all of you understand the freak show that's going on here. Nothing is what it seems. Um, but count on, count on more of this, okay? Worse if crude falls further or if they try attempt to, uh, you know, really make, really um, open up the strategic oil reserves enough to make a difference. Crude oil will be kept high in this environment, okay? It's the lifeblood of the market. It's the lifeblood of the military industrial complex. It's the lifeblood of the new world order. Okay, you got it? I think you do. So anyway, let's, uh, what did I cover so far? I covered the markets. Uh, so what happened with the market today? So we had this run up earlier. Market sold off towards the end of the day. People, risk is rising, I told you. Okay, the market is ignoring risk. You're not ignoring risk. You're not dumping your stocks either. You're not running for the hills like a scared little whatever the hell you might be out there. No, you're a lion if you've been following my work out here. Even if you don't trade, you're a freaking lion because you're ahead of the curve. You know exactly what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. For example, like a terrorist missile strike uh, on oil facilities. You know, I, I, I Believe me, I read the comments, I read the emails, some of them, a, a lot of them at least I tried to, and a lot of you were astonished. They're like, Greg, you called it. Yeah, I did call it. But we see this over and over again. This is nothing new. This is a phenomenon that we have seen repeatedly through history. So expect more of it. I mean, I, when I tell you to expect the unexpected, which I've said many, many times and raise your awareness, all I'm asking you to do really is look back on history a little bit. History is going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. You understand? Anyway, that's... Um, that's what's going on here. Here's the here's a headline I want you to pay attention. This is too. This is Bloomberg. On Bloomberg, they're pushing some kind of a twisted narrative saying that people are dealing with inflation better than expected. Actually, this is completely not true. This is an absolute falsehood and this is propaganda. Okay, could you could you imagine imagine Greg Manorino's shock that this propaganda coming out of one of the mainstream financial outlets, you know. People are suffering, people are hurting, but they don't want you to know that. You see what they're trying to do is in, is induce a state of learned helplessness. Ugh. Learned helplessness. Okay, look up learned helplessness, okay? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to lull people into some kind of twisted reality that does not exist. Again, they're trying to convince you desperately that what you are seeing, that what you are hearing is not real, okay? But uh, you know it's very real, and I can promise you it's going to get even more real. Um... Anyway, what else here? I already told you about cryptocurrencies, gold and silver getting hit. People, it's a, it's an opportunity, in my opinion. And I, I, I've called this stuff really accurately. You can't argue with that here, people. And anyway, Fed Chair Freak Show Powell saying that he will use the Federal Reserve's tools to prevent inflation from becoming entrenched. In other words, basically he's trying to convince you that it's still transitory, that we've been hearing for a very, very long time, and I told you right from the get-go was, was, was dog shit. Total bullshit. All right? Um, anyway, something else I wanted to bring to your attention. is So we found out that home sales here unexpectedly uh, rise here. But you know who's buying? Investors. They're turning this nation here into a nation of renters okay you will own nothing and you will be freaking happy and you're gonna keep your mouth shut you can't think for yourself no free movement no free thought no free action welcome to the new world order do you want to know one thing about crypto i made over three thousand percent in profit in a few weeks fact is the traditional financial system the traditional money system makes you poor not rich if you want to earn $500,000, million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. 
and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination, as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany, as you can hear, and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.